Do you need coding skills to become a cloud engineer? This is one of the biggest questions beginners have when learning and wanting to start their career in the cloud. And it's certainly a question that I grappled with when I got started. And I know so many of you are curious on this too. And why wouldn't you be? It's a hot topic in the modern cloud engineering world. Some people say coding is a must. Others believe it's not essential. But what's the real story here? With my seven years of experience working in the cloud and running my own business, helping clients move their applications to the cloud, I have seen a lot. So in this video, I'm going to give you my take on this. But here's the thing, the answer might surprise you. And it's not just a simple yes or no answer. Throughout my career, I've encountered situations that have completely flipped my perspective on this topic. And I'm going to share these real life experiences with you. Before we get started, you should check out my weekly cloud newsletter where I share free resources, tutorials, boot camps, and so much more to help you make your cloud move. Now to answer if you need coding skills to become a cloud engineer, we first need to dive into the role of what a cloud engineer is. A cloud engineer does many things, has many talents, and it can be scary for some scared. But honestly, I think it's the best role in the tech industry right now, especially in the cloud space. Now, of course, it also depends on the company that you work for. But for me, a cloud engineer works on the design of a cloud project, the build, the management, along with operating, whilst also focusing on the security. Essentially, a cloud engineer designs, builds, and operates applications that run and scale in the cloud. You wear multiple hats, architecture hat, infrastructure, security, operations, and even project management. Cloud engineers create the blueprint for the cloud infrastructure. They set up everything from virtual servers and networking to storage solutions, making sure that everything is connected and runs smoothly. Now, cloud engineers often work hand in hand with software developers and IT teams. They help integrate cloud solutions into companies' existing IT systems. Now, cloud engineers are at the forefront of helping businesses go digital, using cloud technologies to transform how companies operate. Now, one of the coolest things about being a cloud engineer has to be getting to work with cool new technologies like AI, machine learning, and IoT, because cloud platforms are the backbones of these innovations. Now, if you want to get started with the cloud and become a cloud engineer, then you should check out my cloud engineer course, where I provide you a structured way of learning and help you go from zero to cloud engineer hero, covering the fundamentals, the technologies and tools to learn and become a cloud engineer through self-paced videos, live workshops and hands-on projects. Right now, it's at a big discount for pre-order, so move fast before the launch price and I'll link it in my description below. Okay, so now we know the role of a cloud engineer. Let's talk and understand the importance of coding in the cloud and all the different ways that we can code. And it's not just one, it's like a level, multiple levels. And as you progress through your career as a cloud engineer, you will level up on these levels. And I'm going to tell you what each level contains and how they are different. Now, the importance of coding as a cloud engineer is significant for several reasons, especially as the cloud continues to become an integral part of the IT infrastructure for so many organizations. Coding skills enable cloud engineers to automate repetitive and time-consuming tasks. Automation increases efficiency, reduces the possibility of human error, and frees up the valuable time that can be spent on more complex tasks. For example, scripting with Python or using tools like Terraform can automate the deployment and management of cloud resources. However, coding in Python is different to coding in Terraform, and I'll explain why in just a minute. Now, coding allows more tailored solutions because every organization has different and unique requirements. And coding skills helps you customize cloud resources and services to fit these specific needs. This might involve writing custom scripts to manage cloud resources or develop bespoke applications that run on cloud platforms. Now, IAC is a key practice in cloud computing, where infrastructure is provisioned and managed using code. This approach allows for consistent and repeatable deployments. Now, knowledge of coding is essential to effectively effectively use IAC tools like AWS CloudFormation or Terraform. And to be honest, coding in these tools is a great stepping stone to your programming journey. As organizations move towards cloud native development, skills in coding becomes more crucial. This involves understanding containerization, orchestration, and microservices architectures, all of which require 
a solid foundation in coding. So based on this, I would say, yes, you do need coding skills, but there are various levels to coding in the cloud as a cloud engineer. And I've broken this down into three levels, beginner, intermediate, and advanced. And with each level that you master, you also make more money. Now the beginner level is your bash and shell scripting and CLI commands. This level involves basic scripting and command line skills. Scripting languages like bash are used for writing short scripts to automate simple tasks. The CLI skills involve directly interacting with cloud services through the command line tools. And for this level, you can create light scripts that automate routine tasks such as basic resource management and simple deployment processes. This is often the starting point for many cloud engineers. Now, the next level is intermediate. At this level, cloud engineers use IAC tools like Terraform or AWS CloudFormation. This approach involves defining and provisioning cloud infrastructure using code, which allows for consistency, repeatability, and versioning of the infrastructure. Now, this level involves using declarative languages such as HCL for Terraform and YAML for CloudFormation. I would say that this is a step up from bash scripting and gets more complex because you are writing code in an IDE. Terraform uses its own domain-specific language called HashiCorp Configuration Language, also known as HCL. Now, HCL is relatively straightforward and human-readable, focusing on declaring what the infrastructure should look like without the need to specify how to create it. Similar to Terraform, AWS CloudFormation is also a declarative IAC tool, but it's specific to AWS ecosystem. It allows you to describe your AWS resources and the dependencies in a template file. Now, CloudFormation templates can be written in JSON or YAML, and YAML is often preferred for its readability and concisiveness. Like Terraform, CloudFormation focuses on the what, defining the desired state of AWS resources rather than the procedural how. At this intermediate level of IAC, cloud engineers gain the ability to manage infrastructure with greater precision and control. By defining infrastructure in the code form, whether it's HCL for Terraform or YAML for CloudFormation, cloud engineers can version control their configurations, track changes over time, and ensure consistency across different environments. Next up, we have advanced, and I call this cloud software engineering. This advanced level involves using fully fledged programming languages like Python or TypeScript with AWS CDK to build and manage cloud environments and applications. Now, this level goes beyond infrastructure management to include software development in the cloud. Tasks at this level include developing cloud native applications, writing custom automation scripts, developing backend services for applications, integrating cloud services with on-prem applications, and implementing complex cloud solutions. And this is where you make the big bucks. And having this level of programming skills as a cloud engineer is the biggest unfair advantage that you will have. Now, of course, there are some alternatives to coding. Now, while coding provides a powerful tool set for customization, automation, efficiency, there are alternatives to cater to those engineers who might not have a strong programming skills or prefer just to use a different approach. Now, one big alternative is, of course, using the cloud console, like the AWS Management Console, which is a web-based user interface that allows you to interact and manage cloud resources. The console provides a more visual and intuitive way to work with cloud services. And the main advantage of using the cloud console is that it requires no coding skills. You can perform a wide range of tasks through the graphical interface, including setting up new resources, monitoring existing ones, and adjusting configurations. The console is ideal for simple and less complex tasks. For example, creating a single virtual machine, setting up basic storage options, or configuring simple network settings. These can be easily done through the console. While user-friendly consoles have their limitations, they may not be as efficient for managing large-scale complex infrastructures, especially where repetitive tasks or consistent replication of environments are needed. 
And this is where coding or script-based approaches like IAC becomes more advantageous. For me, I use the console to verify my infrastructure as code that is deployed correctly. And I use the console to debug any issues that I'm having. And I think as a cloud engineer, you need to be able to use both the IAC and also the console to get your work done. But fundamentally, I wouldn't get used to just using the console as it won't get you very far in the cloud world as a cloud engineer. And it's not best practice. You need to get comfortable using your hands through the different coding levels. The truth is, if you have no coding background or tech background, you will start at the beginner level doing bash and then working through the CLI. And that is totally fine. But as you progress, you should challenge yourself to keep improving and going through the different levels. I have friends in the industry working as cloud engineers who just know the beginner and intermediate level, and they have no issues getting jobs. However, if you have ambition to work for yourself and make the big money, you will need to learn to code using either TypeScript or Python. And not only will you learn to code in these languages, you will also learn how to apply it to building infrastructure as code. And once you get to this level, you will have mastered all three coding levels as a cloud engineer. You can do bash scripting, you can write Terraform and CloudFormation templates, and you can code in your programming language of choice. And I say that this makes you super skilled and hireable and you'll have no issues getting jobs. But remember, when you're getting started, you should focus on the first level and then over time, gradually move up to the more advanced levels. This won't happen overnight, but if you stick with it and then without a doubt, you will get there. So do you need coding skills? I think you can answer that question yourself now. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.